I'd like to see if there's questions from the audience or even comments that you have about what you've heard today. Uh, Dan, over from uh, Park Nicollet. So, Tasha, after many years of successful practice, you know, by yourself, you transitioned to a team-based care. What was m most difficult about that, and what is it that you could teach others with that transition? Well, for sure, it was the vulnerability, because um, we we have a mix of family med and internal med, and um, we aren't the same. Um, so I treat strep throat based on a certain set of symptoms, and Chris Kopsky treats it on a risk calculator. We just look at it very differently. But it, it was feeling very vulnerable because when you're working in a team, I have to put my thoughts, I have to complete my notes, and I have to put what I was thinking in my notes. So I'm thinking this about the left lower quadrant abdominal pain, and if this plan doesn't work, this is what I'm thinking. And I know that the next day when the next team is working, they're going to be looking, you know, they're going to be looking at my charts probably closer than what you do when you have your own panel. You could, if they're only working with me, um, I feel a little bit safer. So it's vulnerability. And I know Chris, uh, the, our internal med MD that's been down there, you know, I get a text Saturday morning, I have to freeze a wart. I don't know how to freeze a wart. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I'll come in and help you. <laughs> So it's vulnerability and being a, being okay with saying, okay, Cipro for a UTI isn't the best choice. Let's think about how as a team we'll be more consistent and standardize our care.